Let's see how to solve the radical equation. We know the first term is non-negative, second term non-negative. So t must be non-negative, but t also at bottom. So t must be greater than zero. Now denote that as equation one. We denote this term as a, this term as b. To eliminate radical, we multiply both sides by a minus b. Let's go. So we get square root of t mi minus one over t minus square root one minus one over t times square root what t minus one over t plus square root one minus one over t. So we know that equals the square of the first term, which is t minus one over t minus the square of the second term is one minus one over t. Now we can cancel these two terms. So we get t minus one, denote that as two. Two divided by one. You see the left side, the factor a plus b cancel out. So we only have square root of t minus one over t minus square root of one minus one over t, the right side, t minus one divided by t. We denote that as three. Next, we add one and three. So one plus three. So we get this term plus the same term. So we get two square root of t minus one over t. This term plus this term minus cancel out. So we get t plus, we write this one as one minus one over t. Now we focus on t minus one over t. So write it as square root of t minus one over t. The right side, we combine this term and this term. So we get t minus one over t plus one. But this one can be written as square root and then square, right? Now we move this term to right side. So we get square root of t minus one over t square minus two square root of t minus one over t plus one equals zero. It is actually a perfect square. So we get square root of t minus one over t minus one square equals zero. So the inside part must be zero. So we get square root of t minus one over t equals one. Square both sides, so we get t minus one over t equals one. Both sides multiply by t, so we get t square minus one equals t. So we get t squared minus t minus one equals zero. Now we can apply the quadratic formula. So we get t equals negative b, one plus minus b squared, negative one squared minus four a, say negative one, divided by two a, two times one. So we get one plus minus one plus four squared of five over two. So t equals one plus square root of five over two, or t equals one minus square root of five over two. But be careful because t greater than zero. And square root of five equals 2.2, so that would be negative. So that one's not valid because t greater than zero. So the only solution is t equals this one. Actually, we need to verify it because it is a radical equation. If you write this video, please subscribe. Thank you.